are you doing? Hey, today we're going to try to fix some grounding issues with this Telecaster. Uh, we have some copper tape to go into the body cavity, and we have this copper plate that we're going to try to put on the uh, bridge pickup. It'll probably change the sound a little bit. See what happens. So this is going to kind of be a two-in-one video. Uh, first of all, the telly has a grounding issue. So we're going to go ahead and find what that is and add some copper shielding while we're at it. And uh, also, we're going to try to add one of these telly base plates to it and see how that affects the tone. First thing we want to do is get everything out of the way. So, you know, unscrew everything, take off your control plate, take off your pick guard, go ahead and desolder your pickups and remember where your ground wires and remember where your signal wires are going. Take notes, take pictures, you can't go back. So make it easy on yourself. So now that everything's out of the way, we'll get to the shielding. Uh, you have different options when you want to do shielding for your guitar. You can go with shielding tape, you can go with paint, or you can just use aluminum foil that you find in your kitchen. For tape, you can get anything from a $100 kit from Stumac to what I used was a $10 roll that I got off of Amazon. With paint, it's a little more expensive, a little more messy, and it's not reversible, but it can be really nice if you do it right. And for aluminum foil, I mean, it's just aluminum foil. It's, it's not going to have anything to stick it in there with. It can move around a bit, could short out, uh, but it's cheap option and it will work. So when we get to shielding, we're going to need a lot of patience. You want all the shielding to cover all the cavities and to ensure that all the copper shielding is grounded. So it's all got to go to a ground or it won't do anything. As you can see, I connected these two cavities here with the tape underneath the pick guard. And I used a little bit of overlap on the bridge cavity so that it grounded to the bridge plate. When all is said and done, you want all the shielded areas to be attached to the ground at the jack of the guitar. So it's all going that way. The control cavity can be a little tricky because uh, there is some exposed stuff, especially with the Telecaster switch. So you got to make sure nothing grounds out to it, especially, you know, a signal or you won't hear anything. For my guitar, there was a ground screw in the control plate cavity. So that was an easy way to ground out that area. If all the shielding goes to the ground, then it acts as a Faraday cage, giving the electromagnetic interference somewhere else to go besides into your pickups. So while everything was apart, I discovered the grounding issue, which was that the pickup tubing, which is underneath the pickup, had hardened and was no longer pushing the wire terminal up to the ground, the bridge. So the bridge was not grounded on the guitar anymore. So I got some replacement tubing, some Fender branded replacement tubing, and I replaced the tubing under the pickup and screwed it in snug so that the terminal was pushing onto the bridge plate again. I imagine this won't be a unique problem since this seems to be how the guitar came from Fender. So while we're here, this is a good time to install the base plate, also sometimes called the elevator plate. These plates were originally steel, plated in copper or zinc. They're now available in steel, copper, brass, uh, and they're a really cheap way to tweak the tone of your pickup. The one I got was $7 off of Amazon. I went with steel to get a fatter tone with a slightly increased output. This installs super easy. It comes with threaded holes. You just screw in the pickup screws through those holes and bam, you're done. All right, now that everything's done, screw it all back together and see what it sounds like. <laughs>
So it's a little difficult to try to match it since it is outputting a little, a little louder. So it's breaking up a little earlier. <laughs> So much quieter, it's amazing. So to sum up, the shielding was a tremendous help at making my Telecaster quieter. My Telecaster is very quiet now, which will help out wonderfully in the studio. The installation of the bridge plate is subtle. I can hear it as the player, and Mike is probably hard to hear in the video. It's just slightly more output, slightly more punchy than the pickup was originally. I would say this is a modification you would do only if you were going into the guitar for something else, to do something else, like for me, to do the shielding. And then, why not? It costs you seven bucks, whatever. It's probably hard to hear differences in the video. I mean, my playing's slightly different. It's a different day, different humidity in the air. The AC30 sounds slightly different from day to day. But the plate did change the output slightly, and I can hear it as someone who's owned this guitar for a long time. Well, there you go. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.